Next I'm going to show you a very simple way of painting rocks. I'm using Bockingford Extra Rough. This is acrylics straight from the tube. Just a little bit of water, not too, don't, don't water this down very much at all. Apply the paint quite quickly. So it's a dark colour, this is burnt umber, some raw sienna, some ultramarine with the burnt umber, some green, some hooker's green, some blue, some more burnt umber. So just paint that in like that. And before it dries, obviously wash out the brush first. Then with a credit card or a plastic card and just scrape the paint off the surface of the paper like this. You can see the change of the colour and you just scrapes the paint off the surface of the paper and it's as simple as that. And finally we're going to do a woodland stream in winter. So there's a stream running through the centre of the painting, lots of texture here in the foreground. First of all what I'm going to do is just wet the background so although I've got a, a background colour which is a, a light bluey wash I'm going to just thicken that up a little bit more with some white, some cobalt blue. Just paint that in like that. Downward brush strokes just to block that in fairly quickly. Might just put a touch of raw sienna in there just to warm that up just a shade. So that is now fairly wet. Wash the brush out. Squeeze the water out of the brush. Next I'm going to use the fan stippler. A bluey grey colour. So I'm going to use some cobalt blue, some white, don't want it too strong, and some burnt sienna and just drag that colour down like that. So this is going into the wet. So fairly misty in the background. A bit darker there. Drag that down. Get rid of that. Blend that in. Wash the brush out. Down here in the stream, put some textures with the texture paste, the foliage brush, pick up some paste straight from the from the tub and dab like that. And let that dry off. Wash the brush out. Pick up some yellow ochre and some white and this is the floor of the wood there so just a slightly lighter colour running through there so that should line up some darker colours. Moving on to a larger brush going back to the golden leaf. White, pale olive green and some yellow ochre. start to dab that into the floor of the wood like that. Um, some burnt umber, a little bit of hooker's green. And this bit here, we just fill that in, maybe some um, burnt sienna, some white, some raw sienna, just blend that together and just dab like that. So don't mix the colour up into one flat wash, just have lots of texture in there. So just let that dry off. Then with some hooker's green, 
some white and some cobalt blue. So it's a, a bluey green color, not too strong. And just start to put in a few bushes and things in the background like that. Bring that over a little bit. Right, so pick that up to the top. When this is dry, then start to paint in some of the tree trunks. In the far distance of the woods, I'm going to put, start to put in one or two tree trunks. Now this is just a slightly stronger mix of this color here. So it's cobalt blue with a little bit of burnt sienna. Just add one or two, just right out there in the distance. Then a slightly stronger mix of cobalt blue, burnt sienna, and some white. Try it out first, yep. So put another tree in there. So this is a little bit closer to us. Right, not too much detail at this stage. Moving back to the golden leaf again. Put in some larger trees with some ivy. So some hooker's green, ultramarine, a little bit of burnt umber. So this is stronger than the color we put in earlier. So we'll have a, a large tree here. So we just stipple like that. And some undergrowth, just stipple that along the base of the trees. Wash the brush out. Medium detail brush this time. A bluey gray, some uh, cobalt blue mixed in with the burnt umber and some white. So much larger trees going up like that. This branch comes right the way over. Some detail in there. Some branches here just leaning into that space created by the river. Just put a little bit of color into the back of the wood there bluey gray color. So bring that down just a little bit. So there's the bank as the river bends and goes around the corner off into the woods. Right, the next bit is just simply put in the water. Flat nylon brush. Use similar colors to start with which are used in the background. So start with some white, cobalt blue, a little bit of um, burnt sienna. Just drag that color down like that. A touch of hooker's green. So just block that in. So it's becoming fairly dark on the left hand side because it's dark here. Drag that through the texture in the foreground. Right, with, again with the flat brush. Just put a few ripples in like that. Now a reflection of the, the trees is medium size detail brush, pretty much the same brush that I use for the, for the trees themselves. Cobalt blue, some white, and then mix in with some either burnt sienna. I've used, just used a little bit of um, hooker's green in there as well. So we've got that. Drag that down into the wet so you can fade that in. The 
these darker colours, use a slightly smaller flat brush. Hooker's green, cobalt blue, touch of burnt umber. Line that up for the reflection. Just drag that down like that. And again, down here, we just use the end of the brush for some ripples. Again, the dark tree there, just drag that down. Going back to the foliage brush, squeeze out the water, pick up some white, some burnt sienna, and some raw sienna. Go back over here for the bank opposite. A little bit darker in the foreground. Burnt umber, some ultramarine. Just blend that in there. Just let that dry off. While that's drying, just going to give this area a little bit more attention. With the large golden leaf brush, a bluey grey colour. Not too wet. Just going to stipple like that. It helps to soften these rather stark branches that we put in with the, uh, with the half rigger. So we just soften that just a little bit. Medium detail brush, some white, and just put some horizontal brush strokes in here where, it, where the water goes round the corner, just down here, so where the water starts to rush into these shallows. Just get that broken water there. Just finish off the, the water, wash the brush out. So that wraps up that last demonstration. I hope it's helped you improve your acrylics. Until next time, bye. Now available on DVD. Try these techniques yourself at home whenever you wish. The extended version of today's workshop is now available to order on DVD from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.